So we're now going to move on to paper methods for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Now the methods that I use um, might not exactly match up with the ones that you are taught um, because I'm going to be teaching it on the board here uh, using the methods that I was taught. So um, I don't anticipate there to be much difference with addition and subtraction. Multiplication, I'm going to be using long multiplication to do that, um, whereas other people might uh, be more used to using uh, a grid method or um, a method that's sometimes referred to as Napier's bones, um, which uh, has, uh, I think, other different names as well. Um, but I'm going to be uh, focusing on long multiplication. And for division, I'm going to be using short division um, rather than long division, for example. Um, so just to be clear on that, and it's not going to matter which method you use um, as long as you are proficient in it and you can always get the right answer. If you are working with a method and you are continually getting wrong answers, um, then it might be time to think, OK, do I know what the method actually is? Do I know how it works? Should I move over to another method and focus on that? Well, at the end of the day, you will need a method that you can use and works for you. OK, uh, you might want to pick up the ones that I'm using. Uh, you might not. It's really up to you. So just to be clear on that before we move ahead.